Can Lampard's lad do the double over Ajax in the Champions League? What is happening everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you sitting there, standing there, or whatever you are, are doing well. And welcome to today's video, which is a match preview of Chelsea's home game at Stamford Bridge against Ajax in the Champions League this Tuesday evening. Ajax had that slip up when losing to Chelsea at home the first time they've lost at home in a thousand years, apparently. And the first time they've lost since the semi-final of the Champions League last season. Basically, Chelsea just doing bits. But yeah, they've regained form and Chelsea have come away and they've had a loss since, obviously, to Manchester United. But the descendants of Cruyff are making the trip to Stamford Bridge and they will want to seek revenge on the Blues and they'll be looking to take all three points. And we're going to be getting into all of that today in today's match preview. But first, I want to let you guys know that this video is brought to you by Akatips. Akatips is a website platform service that gives you the edge when betting on football. Akatips has unique AI technology to give you the edge when betting. No other websites have it for football fans and it costs as little as £2 a week, which is nothing, but you can have a 14-day free trial by clicking the link in the description. So go check it out. It's free. Why not? Oh yeah, subscribe to Football Therapy if you haven't subscribed yet, but make sure you click the bell notification icon. Click the bell and like the video. Right, let's do well, Ajax. If Chelsea win this game, they will go comfortably at the top of the group. And it will mean a lot, basically. It will mean the Ajax is a great, great team. It, it wasn't a fluke away in the Johan Cruyff Arena. That was a hard game. Ajax played well, and they have been playing well. Chelsea, and even though it was only a 1 0 in the late goal from substitute Michy Batshuayi, it was a good, exciting game, man. It was an exciting 1 0 from start to finish. Both teams went out to attack, and it was like, you know, Chelsea's youth. You know, Ajax's youth, total football versus Frank's proper total football. <laughs> what I'm saying is, it was exciting. It will be the same thing at Stamford Bridge. Let's pull up the analysis screen and talk about how this game might go. First up, next to me is the Who Scored Match Centre graphic for last game. The game out in the Ohan Cruyff Arena when Chelsea won 1-0. Breathe in the lineups, breathe in the statistics. And more importantly, breathe in the result. I'm expecting something similar, but maybe with a few switches of personnel. Certainly Frank Lampard saw what worked, so he wouldn't want to mess with it too much. But I feel like, although Ajax lost, it kind of worked well for them too. They just perhaps want to need to tighten up and work their combinations a little bit better. And you know what? Premier League fitness won that game, in my opinion. Towards the last 20 minutes, Chelsea just looked more fit than Ajax. And they're away from home, so that bodes well when they play at home. Right, I'm gonna switch the graphic over now to both teams' last game. Right, so next to me, you can see Chelsea's lineup that won against Watford, but also you can see Ajax's lineup that they sent last time out when they won 4 2 away. Quincy Promise scored 2 again for Ajax. He's been in scintillating form for them, and obviously, he featured in the game. Uh, against Chelsea in the Johan Cruyff Arena and he played very very well before he came off. As you can see, Neres also scored two in that game last time out for Ajax and I was quite shocked to see him not starting against Chelsea. Obviously he came on off the bench but after these two goals and generally being an awesome player I have a feeling he might start against Chelsea in this game. It's a bit of a weird one because it's basically playing Zayek a bit deeper. Obviously Van der Beek's playing in there. He's a huge, huge player for them. And if they're going to beat Chelsea, he needs to be in fine form. I don't think there's any danger of seeing Huntelaar playing against Chelsea in the Champions League unless they're going more route one. So Tadic will be playing the false nine role again. And for Chelsea, I see a similar lineup as well. I see Azpilicueta starting at right back. He had Tagliafico and Toast. He looks very, very comfortable. It's a different Difficult one because in terms of starting lineup, I think Frank Lampard might want to go with Willian again because of work rate and industry and fitness. But I think he's going to start Hudson Adoy because he didn't start him in the league last time out. And I also think he will start Tammy Abraham. And I think looking at the combination of Batshuayi and Pulisic off the bench, obviously Pulisic's very very good when he starts and he's going to use him in the league starting, he's scoring goals now apparently scoring tap-ins in the box which is excellent. But there's a lot to be said about that lethal combination off the bench. So if he has the work rate of hudson Adore and Willian on each wing, Tammy Abraham running the channels and if Chelsea say it's nil-nil or they're one nil down, he might bring on the dynamic duo of half an hour to go and like I said, Ajax's fitness isn't as good as Chelsea. To have those two come on late, it's just their heads might drop. A very 
deadly option to have. I also think Callum hudson Toy will start this game against Ajax because he started the last game against Ajax. And look, although he faded a little bit, he looked very, very dangerous in the earlier stages. I'm not sure if any of you can remember, but he was running into the box with the ball close to his feet when he was dribbling, and they were terrified of him. They were backing off, backing off, backing off, and there's a strong argument to be made he probably should have scored a goal or two in that game, but regardless, he was magnificent to, to basically play like that, to sort of get into the to box with the ball at his feet and they were backing off him. So if he can do that again, a little bit more confidence or just combine with Tammy to score a goal, he should be starting in my opinion in terms of what he brings to the attack against that Ajax defence. I think we might see quite a similar midfield from Chelsea in this game. I think Frank won't want to start messing up chemistry while things are going so well and provided the, the players pass the fitness test, I would not be surprised at all to see Jorginho, Kovacic and Mount in there. I've done a recent video on how they're so good together. I urge you to go check it out, it's like a couple of videos ago. Really, I'm wondering if uh, Emerson will go straight back into left back or if we'll put Alonso back in after a game's rest. Now, we all want to see Emerson constantly because he's a better fit and probably a better left back or conventional left back than Alonso, but he had only just come back in after an injury and he came back in too early before and then injured himself again. He played 90 minutes last time out. Does he play sh again straight away three days later? Or do you put Alonso in who's a bit more rested and can do a bit more running maybe? That's an interesting talking point and I'm not sure what it'll do, but to be honest, I won't be surprised with either. Like I said, I think Azpilicueta will start a right back purely because he did so well last time out against Ajax. It would be a bit of a shock to see Reese James there, but I can see Reese James being one of the subs. Again, uh, overcoming Ajax with better fitness. Say SP comes off for like 80 minutes, Reese James comes on just to run up and down, run up and down and tear him apart. I can see him being a useful sub with maybe Batshuayi and Pulisic. Alright, that's enough of speculation of the lineups, etc. Let's get rid of this analysis screen. Obviously, a huge game for Chelsea it would put them at the top of the Champions League group. They will become a positive talking point in football media again and they'll start picking up the form again. Obviously, they won last time out against Watford after, I don't want to say a dip in form, but a little bump in the road against Manchester United, where they played a bit of a B team at home, and Man United probably, it probably meant a bit more to them. That's no excuse, especially for Frank Lampard's team, he should want to win everything. I do not want him to take the Maurizio Pochettino route of just disregarding the Cups. Chelsea dominated that game against Watford last time out. They looked immense in large spells of the game. They were incredibly exciting. But the game ended up an incredibly nervous game, or certainly a nervous ending, because they didn't take these chances. They got a bit unlucky with how the penalty situation went down. And then they were rattled a little bit. Remember, they are a young team still, and they can have that naivety. So, if they're in good form, if they're in good moments, phases of play, they need to be clinical. Callum hudson has got them backing off in the box, he needs to score a goal. Chelsea create loads and loads of chances, and generally they score a lot of goals, but if they're just a little bit more clinical and a little bit more ruthless, they will be comfortably seeing themselves through games a lot more. This game against Ajax is going to be another high-octane affair. Ten Hag won't, you know, compromise the way he wants to play, and neither will Frank Lampard, he's at home, Chelsea, they've been struggling to score as many goals at home recently, and he knows that. So he'll really be wanting to change it. He'll be wanting the, the lads to put on a display and try and bag two, two or three goals, even against a really, really good Ajax team. Why not? So it's going to be a high octane affair. I think Ajax can play on the counter attack, and they might be looking to do that a little bit, but they'll also be looking to jump on Chelsea quickly. Chelsea are a lot better in the earlier stages of games than they were the beginning of the season, but you know, they still might see a weakness in quickly jumping on Chelsea and trying to score in the opening 5-10 minutes. Obviously that knocks confidence and that changes the complexion of the game moving forward, and they know, just like them, they're a really young side. Remember Ajax in that semi-final against Spurs in the Champions League last season? Youthful inexperience and naivety cost them that game. There's shades of that in the Chelsea team, but Chelsea do have senior players on the pitch that won't have it and they'll try and settle the ship, like Yaz Pulaquetes, like your Jorginho's and all that. And kind of Willian as well, but not you know, so much. Willian's a bit passive. Totally ideal situation. Chelsea start fast, they score a goal. Callum hudson Doy gets a goal on there because he needs a bit of confidence. I think he's been, feels like he's been pushed back a little bit by Pulisic's form. And you know what? Let's just quickly talk about that. I think that's a really good thing. 
We all know Callum hudson is really, really talented and he's going to be a huge player for Chelsea because we've seen enough of him. We, we've seen what he can do, but with the new contract, with the Bayern transfer, with all the controversy, with everyone bigging him up, maybe he needed something to keep him grounded. And Pulisic coming in, who's been very humble, professional, big price tag, has come in, scored a perfect hat-trick, scored another goal, has been getting assists off the bench. He suddenly made hudson Adoy sit down a little bit, and that's a good thing. Remember, competition is the whole ethos of this Frank Lampard's Chelsea side. The best teams have competition in every spot, and they push each other on. Anyway, let's do a score prediction. I think it's going to be an entertaining game. I think Ajax might score. I've just got a feeling they probably should have scored last time out when that promised goal was ruled offside. Apparently, it was onside, but whatever. But I think Chelsea are going to really go for it. I think there's going to be a couple of goals. It's not going to be massively, massively high scoring, I don't think, but we're so entertaining, and I think Chelsea are going to win 2-1 and go top of the group. Anyway, what do you think? Get down in the comments. I want to hear your score predictions and how you think the game will go. A quick reminder to you watching there that you can join the Discord server and talk to me and other members of the GOAT gang from Football Therapy about Chelsea and football all day, every day, on your phone, on the website, on an app. We just chat about football. Come and join us. The link is in the description. Uh, it's a Patreon link underneath the Akatips link. Oh yeah, follow me on social media at Football Yannick. Like the video if you've enjoyed the content. Remember to subscribe and click the bell. If you're new, I'm out, ladies and gentlemen. You enjoy the football and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I let me be